Hello and welcome to the Gardening Channel. I'm your host Mike Ventura, so it's my pleasure to have you with us. On this program, we're going to be talking about a very common turf weed pest that uh, is directly related to the diet of our lawns. Okay, and so here is the picture of the pest. This pest is called white clover, and uh, you notice I've also uploaded a picture of this pest on my YouTube channel, and uh, it also has a white flower. So let's get into learning about how to manage white clover that gets into our lawns. All right, first things first is white clover is considered an opportunistic weed. What does that mean? It means that when the nitrogen levels in your soil get so low, this gives the opportunity for white clover to come in. White clover is a perennial broadleaf weed. So it comes in year in and year out. What it's really telling you though is that when, you're, when your soil starts getting compacted and compressed, no low available oxygen and your nitrogen diet has dropped this is the opportunity for white clover to come in so what do you need to do now there's several strategies that you want to follow to keep the the white clover at bay one you want to get your nitrogen diet as far as on your lawns up to speed uh you can use fast reacting nitrogen such as like sulfate of ammonia uh, where it's really good it'll keep the nitrogen uh, levels where you want to be also, you can use slow-release nitrogens, uh, meaning ones that have a product called urea formaldehyde. That works great. And uh, you can find these products at your local home improvement centers. Uh, the, the whole key here is to keep your nitrogen levels up, uh, at least on a nice balanced diet. What you don't want to do is have what they call these peaks and valleys where you have uh, a shot of nitrogen, then it drops down and gets stressed out. Slow-release nitrogens will provide you a nice steady amount of nitrogen in the soil. And once you start building that nitrogen levels up inside your soil, now what happens is you keep the white clover at bay. And so consequently, how do we do this? Well, you can go through also and you want to aerate your soil. Aerification is very, very important because what you're doing is you're allowing fresh oxygen to get into the soil. You've also encouraged the amount for the soil to breathe. And so consequently, when you apply a fertilizer to your soil, it goes into the soil. And now if it's a slow release fertilizer, it's slowly feeding the lawn at a nice sustained rate. If you go out there and use a product called like sulfate of ammonia, which works just fine. The downside to sulfate of ammonia is you get about four or five weeks out of it and then it's done and you have to reapply. If you use a slow release product that they call the urea products, which are tend to be coated with the night with I have a coating around the particle, your fertilization particle. Now what's happening is every time you irrigate, you're releasing a little bit more nitrogen out there. So you're taking away one of the elements that the white clover wants. It wants a soil that's also compressed. So once you aerate, you're taking away that compression that's inside the soil, put organic matter on top of the soil, and that way it'll filter inside the soil. And now what happens is you've introduced oxygen inside of the soil. All these components are part of what I've called, uh, known as the Integrated Pest Management Program. What's really good though, is that by managing your nitrogen, uh, you're gonna keep white clover at bay. And because it's an opportunistic weed, uh, the opportunity for it to come in diminishes because why? You're not giving the plant what it wants. See, what's interesting about white clover is, it's it is a legume plant. What that basically means is, when you see uh, white clover coming in, it's actually capturing the uh, nitrogen that's in our air and it's basically feeding itself. But it's also telling you when you're managing your lawns, you know something, your nitrogen levels are, go are, uh, are dropping. So you need to get that nitrogen levels back up again. And just by maintaining a nice regular fertilization diet, you can keep white clover at bay. So let's kind of just go back over some important points regarding white clover. Again, here's a, here's a shot of the white clover and it's very characteristic. And you'll see, like I said, Go to my site, you'll see a picture of it in flower of its very, very common turf pest. Broadleaf weed, a perennial plant, thrives in soils that are compacted, tends to go after soils where there's a low nitrogen level, so it means your fertilization diet is a little lower than it should be, so you want to get your nitrogen levels back up. And just by doing that alone, you keep white clover at bay. If, it, if the population of the white clover gets so much, you may have to spray to control the white clover. And there's some very good products. If you go to your home improvement centers, there's some very good products that you can apply to your turf grass 
that will keep the white clover at bay. But the real trick, the real key to managing white clover is your nitrogen fertilization program. How you fertilize your lawns is a real key to success for managing white clover. So with that, go out and enjoy the garden. It's always my pleasure to have you folks tuning into the gardening channel and uh, manage that white clover. Have a very good day. Take good care.